of the things that you notice oftentimes as you drive through the Midwest in the fall is cattle out grazing in cornfields on the corn stalks. So we're going to talk about that and why farmers might consider doing that on today's show. All right, well, the number one reason is an unfortunate reason where a lot of the corn fell on the ground in advance of harvest or as harvest was going on. This used to happen a lot more, it seemed like. We had hybrids that just couldn't hold the ears very well. And sometimes, like for us as farmers, we just said, boy, we're trying to cut costs, so we want to let it dry down in the field more. And then by the time you'd roll out there with the combine, not only were some ears on the ground, but you'd have a lot of harvest loss with that combine. So this is probably the number one reason why people like turning their cattle out onto that field is they pick up all that corn. You know, the other thing too, when you've got cattle, a lot of times you'll have them on pasture ground during the summer. And if it's been a dry season and there's not a lot of grass growing out there to graze on, well, turning them out into the corn stalks after corn harvest is another way. They can get lots of roughage from eating some of that corn residue, which is kind of a positive too, to break some of that residue down, turn it right into manure where you've got highly available nutrients for next year's crop. I like that, but yes, uh, probably picking up some of those ears is one of those side benefits too. Well, the biggest concern that we always have for people is if they've had cattle out in the pasture and they had sprayed a herbicide relatively recently. For example, Tordon. That's a real commonly used pasture herbicide. Well, that can get in the cattle in, into their system and then when they go out into the cornfield, their droppings are going to have some Tordon in there, which could then kill the next crop if it was a broadleaf crop. Yeah, it sounds crazy, but it's actually not dangerous for the cattle at all, just no. something you have to manage in terms of crop rotation. And that's another thing too, when you put cattle out into a field, you have to watch it. If it gets too wet out there, if you get some heavy rains, all of a sudden you could have deep hoof prints from the cattle. I mean, you have to think about this. These cattle are many times well over a thousand pounds a piece, and they've got these tiny little hooves that are going to shove way down into the ground if it's muddy, creating some problems for next year's crop. So farmers generally have to manage that pretty closely. If it's dry, no big concern. If the ground gets frozen in the winter and they can still be out there grazing, no big concern. But if you do get a lot of moisture or if you get towards spring and things start thawing out in the field, you'll see farmers pulling those cattle back out of those fields many times to try to get them uh, away from creating a problem in the field. And then usually there's a little tillage done to kind of level that ground before seeding the next crop. Well, there are a lot of reasons why you may see some cattle out in corn stalks this fall. One of the reasons they're generally not out there, though, is to try to control our weed of the week. We'll show you what will stop this weed coming up later in the show.